Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to be talking about a Twitch extension called Blurp. Blurp is a really cool platform that allows you to discover, share, and create short audio clips, as you can see there on screen. Uh, these can be used for a variety of purposes. However, the core focus seems to be through the Twitch extension, allowing your viewers, if you're a streamer, uh, allowing your viewers to play audio clips via bits or channel point redemptions. And if was, obviously, if you're a viewer, then it allows you to interact with your st favorite streamers by playing uh, audio clips on their stream by donating bits or utilizing channel point redemptions. It's a really cool service. It's a really cool extension. A lot of people have, uh, or there are various different platforms or extensions that do similar things. But there's a few reasons I really like Blurp. Um, but first and foremost is that I found a lot more engagement through the Blurp platform. A lot of people have been using it more so than other ones that I've tried to use in the past. So I'm really enjoying Blurp. I'm really liking it. I think a lot of my viewers are as well. And I wanted to create a little bit of a video on it for you today. All right, let's go. So the first thing you want to do is find yourself some blurps or soundboards that you would like to utilize. So you can do that in various ways. I, uh, I've gone through to the trending section here and I can check trending soundboards or individual blurps. So there are two different ways to source them. You can have soundboards, which if I click this will show you a whole host of different sound effects within that board. And I can favorite that board specifically and that'll just bring all of those sounds over to my favorite section. If you want to be a little bit more selective, you can go in and find individual blurps and favorite those individual ones as well. And that's going to put together, start to put together a list of blurps for you that you can then utilize on your stream. If you have something in mind that you're particularly searching for, you can use their search function. As an example, you might want to search for, say, South Park blurps. And, uh, and yeah, there's some really good ones here. So yeah, really, really simple, guys. You can add, then add these to your soundboards, to your favorites, and uh, and we're then going to show you how to get those uh, sounds that you've selected over onto your Twitch stream so that viewers can start to use them. Now that you've got yourself some blurps favorited or some soundboards favorited and you're ready to start setting them up on your Twitch channel, you'll head over to the Extensions uh, tab on Twitch.tv. Here you'll put in blurp into the search bar and there it is, blurp. You will install this via the button here on the right and then you can configure it via here. Now this will bring you back to blurp.com on their configuration page and this is really, really simple guys. It's very self-explanatory. I went through it without any help or, or anything. It was just very, very intuitive. So on here you can change some of the basic options, whether you would like to block music, whether you ha want to have a certain maturity rating to your blurps to reduce the chance of you know having things that you don't want to have on there, such as if you're a family friendly streamer, you might want to put your maturity rating down to PG as an example. Now I would recommend having simple mode off because simple mode off allows your viewers to search for any blurp via the panel on your web page. So as an example, they could go in here and they could search South Park and they can basically access any of the blurps from blurp.com via the panel on your page. And uh, that gives it a lot of flexibility. They can really search for any soundbite that they want to use within the parameters that you have, of course, set here. And uh, it just gives a lot more opportunity for them to actually find sounds they want to use and then to use them, which is obviously the point. Because setup is so intuitive, I'm not going to take you through each of the individual tabs. It's really simple once you get yourself on here. But we are going to have a quick look at the channel point section. If you want to offer the ability for your viewers to use channel points instead of just bits to do sound effects as well, I'd highly recommend do that and doing that to get people to engage with it. So you can head over to the channel points tab. There's this drop down here and you can start to add blurbs to your channel point section uh, via this button. This will open up the individual blurps or boards that you've saved as favorites and you can start to add them really quickly and easily. I mean, I'm, the whole point that I'm getting at, guys, is, is that this is a very cool but very simple and easy to use tool for engagement. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Now, once you've set up your uh, once you've set up your channel points sound effects, the blurps that you want to have for channel points specifically, you can see you have a limited number of slots for those. 
you can set up the browser source. Now this is uh, very simple to do guys. This is gonna be blurred out for you and you're not gonna see this. You're not gonna wanna share this with anyone. Each individual will be different of course. And you're gonna basically copy and paste what's in here into your OBS as a browser source. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. If not, you can just give it a quick Google. It's very, very simple to do. Uh, you can test the audio. Once you put in the browser source, you can test the audio here and it'll play through your OBS or it should do assuming it's been set up properly. So that's how simple the setup is. Easy peasy. What I wanna show you next is another cool feature of Blurp, which is that you can actually create custom sound blurps either from your own streams or own clips, which I think is really, really cool. But you can also do that from say YouTube videos or various other websites as well. So to create your own Blurp sound effect, you head over to the main page and hit create. It's gonna ask you to enter a video URL. This could be a YouTube video, it could be a TikTok video, a Vimeo, Facebook, Twitter. As you can see here, these are all the options they provide, but you can also do your Twitch clips. Now here's a Twitch clip that I had previously, one of my viewers clipped it, uh, <laughs> and it was quite goofy. It was basically me making funny sounds. <laughs> yeah, really goofy. Um, now, what we can do with that is plug the uh, URL into here. So if we put this URL, we literally just copy it from the clip page and put that into here. That's gonna then open up the section where we can cut this Should sound effect down like, to the no, size that we want it to be. And I've got that saved over here. So I started at seven seconds and I end it at 10 seconds. And oh, this is what we're left with. <laughs> Really small, really simple, just a few seconds, but uh, pretty goofy. And it is personalized, allowing your viewers to play sound effects that have come from you, which is really, really cool. So now that we've got the blurb that we wanted to create, we can go next over here. We can add the speaker uh, who made the sound effect. You're gonna add, wanna add a tag, streamer sounds. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this one private. Um, hashtag streamer sounds. Um, and we can move on next. And we can then add it to our boards as well. I don't really want to do that as this is just to show you for now. And that's that. We've now made this sound effect and we can view this from our, uh, we can add it to our boards. We can view it in our favorites and all that good stuff. Guys, and that is how you create a sound effect here on Blurp. I have been using this a lot. My viewers have been really enjoying it. I've had a lot of great feedback. In fact, uh, here's a quick, uh, here's a little uh, screenshot of my chat when someone was talking about Blurp. And uh, you know, I give it a, I give it a solid 4.5 out of five in terms of uh, you know it being a really really good Twitch extension and being better. Than, uh, and then others that I've used so far. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel at one o'clock UK time every day except Monday and Friday. And it'd be great to see some of you guys there. Regardless, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day.